So our first reader is Rebecca Shepherd. Rebecca Shepherd. Rebecca Shepherd is a second year undergraduate Sarah Lawrence student. I see her always smiling and happily strolling around campus. She has a wonderful sense of humor and direction. I have had the privilege of seeing her in action as a co-pilot on an SLC van coming from the city. <laughs> she has published poetry, nonfiction, and fiction online and in various literary magazines. She is the recipient of multiple creative writing awards and the co-founder of a creative writing program in Boulder, Colorado. Her poetry collection, I Am Always Leaving, is available online in select bookstores. Her poetry is confessional. It's about living in the moment. As I quote, we jump not because we are certain, certain, but because we aren't. She's multitasking in many genres. She's currently working on a collaborative novel that is forthcoming in November 2013, and a short story collection <laughs> entitled North. It is with great honor we present to you Rebecca Shepherd. Please direct us tonight.
A dead body is sealed into memory by a name the city sheds skins one, two, and three. Imagine growing through a word. J. He enters, is never entered, not because he says so, but because he has that way about him. Bed and sheets folded across it like the beginnings of a paper airplane. He's weary of being inside. It is tedious to be loved for loving oneself. Okay. One can pretend to be a god, one can almost believe oneself to be, but one cannot be the walk down the weight of the city's hush bubble. Its bleeding lips sigh. L. Over them all back in styrofoam cups, he tells me to think of all the lives that have been spent trying to pinpoint the precise geographic locations of Odysseus's journey. He laughs, lips purple. And so, he says, if you knew where the sirens were, would you go? Would you think you're strong enough just by knowing? And if you knew where the legion feels, no, let me rephrase, he says, standing on zipping his fly to piss off the balcony. Can you believe in something without needing it? And Port Lejoy became Charlotte Town, his eyes blaze. He had pulled staff from Shasta, Valenciaxi, Poli, Aspadon, Ispahan. La Plata, Ciudad de Perón, La Plata again. Cities, red need for language. Oh. A pole is burning as his candle does. Self-conscious, new, finite. He collects the wax and warms it between his palms. An amulet. T. Some days he cannot be cried from the window. He says he's waiting for the right diameter of a snowflake. It's not insanity, he says. It's attention to detail. Q. What do you think of when I'm inside you, he asks one day as he smokes and washes the dishes. You, I say. Or did I say nothing? The line, he replies. Sex is not the end of wanting. You must use the mind to think beyond it, say, Imagine that X is about to walk in, or that I'm the music teacher you used to daydream of. R. Now, but only for this exact instant, are you thinking of the soap suds on my forearms and the way I'm talking to the cigarette in my mouth. S. Years later, I hope you will remember me at the sink and touch yourself. But if you do, it will not be for what you saw tonight, but for the language I brought to it, this forgettable gesture. T. You will never be able to visit Saigon. Think, he urges, only in the mouths of others. You. But history swallows names, too, I point out, and he begins to lose sleep, the same as everything else. He lights a match and drops it from the balcony to the thigh of snow pink. B. He wanders the apartment at night, wearing only an old t-shirt, his legs thin and pale but for the scratch marks of hair. Of any possible combination on the man, only a t-shirt is the most unattractive he drags. W. <coughs> There's a problem, he says, while packing my bags, in treating love the way one treats faith. Not a moral, but an ethical problem. X. Still, I hope you find it, he smiles. In that way, we sort of always inactively hope for another's happiness. Why? He will grow old in his self-love. See, August, darkness only a brief blip in the night. St. Petersburg becomes Petrograd for fear of the old.